Okay, everyone. Uh, as you can see here, um, these are my drives in my computer. Uh, my A drive, uh, it's it's got 563 megabytes free of 577 megabytes. My B drive has 117 gigabytes free out of 900 and 21 gigabytes because it's a terabyte and my C drive has 387 gigabytes free of my 930 uh, gigabytes which is again it's a terabyte and my NVMe has 23.7 gigabytes free of my 953 gigabytes and it's a terabyte as well so what do I do? Well, I've decided because this popped up the Samsung uh, Samsung 980 Pro SSD. And it was $119, for which I got it on sale. But it's a generation uh, Gen 4 gaming M2 internal solid uh, solid state drive memory. Uh, anyway, it's NVMe as well. So I started thinking, I'm like, man, okay. That's two terabytes, and I would end up, because you saw my D drive, and it's almost completely full. That's because I, I keep all my uh, um, documents and stuff on it, and that's kind of like my backup. And uh, then C drive is my, uh, of course... That's your operating system and everything else. And I'm like, yeah, that's going to be kind of a pain to uh, to take everything off and put in a blank one down there. And uh, it fits. I mean, I don't know if I can. Oops. Let me release this. I don't know if y'all can see down here, but I doubt you can see it. Anyway, in there where it's glowing. It's glowing different colors. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see it. That is where my NVMe uh, M2 is. So, I'm like, hmm, what can I do? Because I don't want to really uh, remove that. I could remove it and just put the 2 terabyte in, which would be a piece of cake. And then I have the uh, other one. And I thought, you know, I would like to have the 2 terabyte as a backup. So, that being said, I ordered something that has uh, really good reviews. It's a, a UV M.2 NVMe hard drive enclosure. So,
So with that being said, and I do not have uh, the NVMe yet. It's coming in probably tomorrow. Well, let's see what we get in here. Uh, Anyway, that's uh, that user's guide. A larger user's guide <laughs> for old people like me. Okay, and this was $17.99, okay, $17.99 it comes with, and it had really good reviews, and I do pay attention to all the reviews because a lot of times if you see something that says it's so good, and then you look, you're like, Something doesn't look right about these reviews, and that's because they were reviewed by the same people. Okay. And it comes with a, uh, Your USB C to you got a, a USB C, USB C back and back. And then you got your USB-C to your uh, regular USB. And then you have a rubber enclosure and then you've got some heat sink material that you're going to put on your uh, NVMe when when you get it it'll help, help dissipate the heat because they do get hot very hot I have touched mine when I first put it in my computer and uh, it was screaming hot. Anyway, this, no tools needed. You put your uh, NVMe right here and this is your closure. I don't know if y'all can see this. And it just closes, and then you, uh, slide it back in. Oh, and great. Guess what? It only goes one way. So it's a dime proof. And then while it's going, it has a, uh, little light here on the bottom, and, uh, So you can connect your USB-C to it and straight into your computer. Now, like I said, it, it's this actually, the rubber thing protects it and everything. But I, I was reading how people uh, were trying to figure out how to keep it cool. 
well there's no real good way because of the size and everything to keep it cool so I'm gonna go out on a limb and while it's operating and from what I read if, if it's just doing one or two files it'll get hot and then when it's done it cools off well if you're going to do like a terabyte like what I'm planning on doing or whatever what I have here is for steaming yep <laughs> you got it and you see the little uh, uh, bumpers down here on the bottom okay that's for steaming uh, items in a uh, in a steamer or whatever and I'm gonna put this on top of this and I'm gonna take my handy dandy fan and I'm gonna keep it cooler because when you use the uh, the heat sink uh, material on top of your uh, MVME basically what that does is it's going to uh, let me see that and we'll pull it out and I'll show you It's like a piece of tape basically kind of rubberized tape but what it does is you put it on there and it actually touches the uh, it's actually going to touch the inside of this uh, case which is I think it's aluminum As the British would say, aluminium. <laughs> I love that. Anyway, so you put that over, put it on your uh, MVME, and you close it up. And this is a this is a toolless one. And once you close it up, you. Uh, um, that tape is going to touch this to dissipate some of the heat. And so you shouldn't have any problem. Okay, I had to check. I was looking for the parts of my computer. I bought the parts in 2019. Yes, yes I did. And my computer's still running good. And I built it. From scratch. And uh, it's fast really fast and it's got an AIO in it uh, so it's water cooled and uh, like I say I've got uh, six terabytes of storage in it and the uh, I've got just the one NVMe and the others are SSDs okay and they all get hot but they don't there's no moving parts in them okay they're you know transistors basically they uh, I mean they're awesome they're fast and everything else uh, I got the uh, AIO 
uh, from Corsair. I use a lot of their equipment. And it's kind of funny because when I, I contacted them and I asked about installing a certain AIO, and they says it won't work. You can't do it. And the next day I get a same message from another tech, and the next day from another tech, next day from two techs, and next day from two techs. And it was like they were all reading it, and they were all saying the same thing. You can't do it. They didn't know me very well. <laughs> I did it. And what a lot of people don't understand, and I think I've even got it uh, listed as one of my videos, um, the screws for the radiator, yes, I got a radiator, would not uh, match up with the uh, um, the cowling of my computer. So, and I didn't want to mess anything up and drill more holes and all that. So what I used was a, a super high heat blue gun. And you're like, and how's that not going to mess anything up? Well, let me tell you. Um, I've been building computers for a long time, long, long time. And if you want to amaze your kids and you've got, uh, you've got a hot blue gun, put some in it and put it on a, a piece of metal or something uh, and attach something to it, you know, and then have your kids try to pull it apart. And when they can't pull it apart, and this is just something for you to know, you take a Q-tip and dip it in alcohol. And uh, usually, and I use 99.9% uh, .9 alcohol that's used for text and stuff, and you dip it in the alcohol and you just touch it to where the, uh, the glue is holding something together. Leave it for like a minute or less and just take it apart. It'll come right off in one blob. It doesn't leave any residue or any anything. It's like awesome. <laughs> so anyway, I just thought I'd throw that in. But uh, and then Corsair sent me a a, a review, and uh, I put outstanding on all of it, all of it. And you can ask one of my friends, Mark. I says I put an outstanding on it, and where it says comments, I says, yeah, that uh, tech named Don Stewart, he really knew what he was doing. He made this thing work. And Mark says, you goof, they're going to be looking, because they have 2,000 techs. He says, they're going to be looking all over for a tech named Don Stewart. I says, hey, <laughs> I made it work, and it's been working since 2019. And I think it was maybe last year or six months ago, they figured out a way to actually put the uh, AIO in the same uh, size um, computer cowling that I have, uh, which is not very big, but they figured out how to put it in and everything, and now they're they're selling uh, the same computer uh, with less storage and everything for for uh, forty five hundred dollars. <laughs> so I'm like, hey, go for it. You know, it took them that long, and mine's still going. I'm happy because I I can remember having to replace computers right and left. I mean, after like a year or two, they outdate outdate themselves. You know. Uh, right after you buy them, basically. So you've got to keep up with it and everything. But, yeah, I remember having to replace everything or replace the whole computer after so long. and Or the computer would just go bad. Components going bad and everything. I don't have to worry about that now. So anyway, I hope this helps someone out. And I'll, when I get the uh, NVMe, I'll put it in and record and see how it works with this. I'll show you how I'm doing it. And uh, so it'll be a two-part series. So I hope this helps someone out. And if you're in a warm place, go swimming. If you're in a cold place, find a warm place to go swimming. 
If you can't do that, snuggle up with someone. Okay, we'll talk to y'all later. Love y'all. Bye. Okay, the NVMEs here. One I thought about putting inside my computer and then decided against it because because I have this bad boy now. This is what you get when you order an NVMe. Anything under it? Yes. Here's the documentation. The NVMe itself which is like paper thin. Don't know if you can see that or not. But I already have one in my computer, so. Okay. Now, We are going to We're going to check this out. Interesting, it shows how to open it and how to put a DVD in, semi, I mean not a DVD, an NVMe. Okay, we're going to take this rubber part off for now. Okay. Now then, I need to figure out which side goes up and which side goes down. And I think I might, no, maybe not. So what I'm going to do real quick is, uh, since it doesn't tell me, let me take a look in here. It probably only fits one way. It's showing, if I go, if I do it this way, it is showing to unlock it. And then, It's pretty much all it shows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look up and see, because I can't remember when I put my uh, put the one in my computer how it went in. So I'm going to have to look it up and then get right back to you. Okay? See you in a few. Hey. 
the NVMe got here. M2 SSD, yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so let's check it out. That is how it comes with your instructions underneath. Oops. Okay. Now we're going to put it in this enclosure. Uh, uh, NVMe is a solid state drive. It's not like where it spins up like a uh, regular hard drive. This is all solid state, so there's no moving parts. Just in case you didn't know. Okay. It's going to fit in here. Right? But, it's not going to fit in this way. What you want to do, this reminds me so much of a uh, AMD chip. You see that silver square thing, half square? You're going to take it and you're going to line it up. And you're going to slide it in here. And it's going to stick up at an angle like that. And you're going to push it down. Not hard because you don't want to break the chips. And you're going to turn this around. And it's not going to go all the way because obviously you can see there's a chip there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And... From here, we're going to take the heat sink tape, and we're going to put it on here, well I said we were, And this has actually two sides, I believe. Yeah. There's a second side. Okay. Now then, we're going to take the U-Green case. Gonna slide this in. Maybe it'll go this way. There it goes. You know, slide it in. Now, be sure that heat sink tape is on the uh, NVMe, and then just slide this in. And I'm gonna check something out. Go this way. I don't know why, but it seems to me it didn't just sit. Seems like I had to uh, release it somehow. And there is the release mechanism right there. So it does. All I have to do now, and there it is, kind of hard to see, but there is a little indenture right in here. 
Can it work? Yeah. Okay. Now we're in like plant. Now, instead of using this USB-C to USB-A, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, my, I've got a USB-C to a USB-A from my, uh, <laughs> all of these acronyms, uh, UPS, uninter Uninterrupted, uh, that's that power supply, yeah, a UPS. So we're going to take that because it's longer, and that's what I'm going to use. And then, we'll, like I said uh, in the previous video, we're going to hook the fan up and, and uh, get this thing going. Now, another thing, I'm going to put this rubber... cover back on. Why? In case I drop it or because it will get hot when you're using it. See? See in that slick? If you gotta take it out. Push it, comes out, and fits snugly back in and clips back in. Okay, let me start this and then I'll get right back with you guys, okay? See you in a minute. Okay, so we're moved over. And what I have done... Is connected this long cord with a USB C into my uh, USB 3 output on my computer, and we're going to hook it up here. Okay, now it's hooked up, and if I need to, because it may get hot. I don't know if y'all can see that. I got my fan going here. Gonna go if I need to. Okay. This is connected because it's showing a blue dot. So let's go in. To, let's try device manager. That doesn't work. Because I'm not seeing what I'm looking for. And I don't think it's going to recognize it. Or it shouldn't. <laughs> Let's see if I remove this. Did it go away? Nope. Try removing that one, and it will. But I'm going to put this in, and it's not going to uh, recognize it. So what we're going to do is 
and I'll go here to disk drives. Okay, I don't. I should have had this pointed here. This is in my uh, device manager. Don't know if y'all can see that or not. Bring you up closer. And what I did is I clicked on uh, disk drives. And it's showing my first one as a CT. Uh, and the second one is showing as a uh, NVMe, which is actually the D drive, uh, SCSI drive. And it's showing the next one is my Samsung SSD 980 Pro 2 terabytes, which is what I want. I'm going to click on that. Okay. It'll let me do that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, volumes. We're going to go with populate. And we know that it doesn't really have a, it's got a driver, but not like, you know, Disk drive. And let's see if it's showing it yet. I kind of think it won't. Not yet. So let me, if you haven't noticed, I don't have this computer set up like normal computers. I just don't. So, Wait a minute. What I'm going to have to do real quick is figure out how come it is not allowing it to show. I'll get back to y'all in just a few minutes. Okay, we're back. I've got everything pulled over here and ready to go. And uh, I've got the long, long cord. So it's got a uh, USB-C on it going to your regular USB, but I've got it going into USB 3. <coughs> Excuse me. And if you remember, we went in to uh, Device Manager. Now you can go into the Device Manager a few ways. You can go in uh, by going down to your search and typing device and it'll pop up or uh, you can go and and type uh,
What was it? Okay, with device manager. Went on disk drive, and then we had, uh, if y'all don't remember, that me, I have to start this whole thing over because it showed I don't want to put any ads or anything up. So, here we go again. I'll be back. Okay, we got everything moved over. If you look, I've got my uh, my new SSD hooked up, and I've got the uh, USB-C. Going over to my USB uh, 3. It's a USB-A to USB 3. And what we're going to do is if you click X, uh, I'm going to select uh, Device Manager first. What I did is I hit Windows and X. That is, if you don't know, the Windows key and then an X. And all this will pop up. And I just want to see and make sure that it's uh, showing anything. Here's uh, this disk drives <coughs> showing my CT NVMe, which is SCSI, and uh, that's my D drive, and then the Samsung uh, two terabyte, and then my WDC, which is one terabyte. So. Now, because it's not going to make it show, if you look, go into uh, this PC, and you'll notice it's only showing the 4, right? Should show 5. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here, and we're going to hit the Windows key again, Windows key, and type Hit another X, and we're going to go to Disk Management. Here we go, Disk 3. Must be initialized, uh, you must initialize a disk before Logical Disk Manager can access it. Uh, so, let's just go ahead and click OK. And it is a two terabyte, so it's got to be down here. And if you see down here in the bottom, I'll be darned. There it is, 1863 or 18,000. Is it 18,000? 1863 gigabytes unallocated. Let's allocate them, shall we? Uh, We'll go with new sample volume, and we're going to click next, and I'm just going to make this one big giant disk. Some people would uh, separate them and everything, but I'm not. I'm going to make it just one big one, because I'm only using it for storage. Okay, assign the following drive letter. It really doesn't matter at this because I'm going to be unplugging it and plugging it back in. If that makes any sense. Now then. File system. We're going to leave it at NTFS. Default new form. Quick format. And we're going to see if it works. Okay. Now then, we're going to go out of this.
And if you look over here on the right hand side, there it is. Oops, there it is. Oops, there it is. Okay, so I've got uh, 1.81 terabytes free of 1.81 terabytes. So we are good to go. Let's see with another check here. What I'm going to do is unplug it. Should disappear. It did. And let's plug it back in. And see if anything happens. There it is. It came back. Now we know how to do this. Or you know how to do this. I knew how to do this. But I have my little steamers, uh, steamer thing here for um, my rice cooker. But what I plan on doing, since it's got little uh, uh, lumps on, on the bottom, these things will get hot. I'm going to put it there. And I have my handy dandy fan. And while I take everything off of disk D and put it on uh, new volume E, I'm going to be cooling it off with that fan. I hope to anyway. Okay, if this helped anybody out, I hope it did. Be sure and give me a thumbs up. Uh, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. It really helps out a lot. Trust me <laughs> on that. And uh, I'm looking to see. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, and we will talk to you all soon. Um, remember, if you're in a warm place, go swimming. If you're in a cold place, find a warm place to go swimming. If you can't find that, snuggle up. Okay, y'all stay safe, and we will talk to y'all soon. Love you guys. Bye. Hey, everyone. It's not often that you can get three videos out of doing one thing. <laughs> but, as I showed my last video, I got a 2 terabyte uh, Samsung 980 Pro. Uh, PCIe 4.0 NVMe okay and then I had to find something that it would fit in and work because I was going to put it in my computer but then I thought why would I do that it's two terabytes I can use it in storage so I went up and I found uh, the U green <coughs> U green M.2 NVMe hard drive enclosure, and I showed y'all how to hook that up. So, last night, I used it. And I saw a lot of, uh, when I was setting it up and everything, I saw a lot of people asking, how do you keep this thing cool because it's hot? Okay, right now, it's not hot at all. And so what I did, as you can see, this is right here is a uh, steamer rack which you can buy anywhere and it's got like a little feet on it and stuff and uh, I got this fan I think for just over five dollars and it plugs in to my computer so does the uh, the hard drive and it took probably a good ten hours to take everything on my computer and put it on that uh, on that two terabyte 
in VME. But, and I'll tell you one thing, I was, I was down here and I was, I was looking because I lost a credit card of all things. And, uh, but, well, I mean, I had it and I knew I had it, but it was in an envelope. And in my bottom drawer, I had all these warranties, which all, you know how it is. People send you all kinds of junk and you just go with your warranty and this and that and that and this. And <laughs> so I started looking for the credit card and I unplugged uh, the fan, the little fan there. And by the time I got through digging through the uh, mail and I found the credit card, which was the very last thing I looked at in the bottom of the drawer. I climbed up here and I said, hmm, the fan's off and I touched this and it was hot. And I'd heard and read where people said that uh, it crashed on them. Well, yeah, it's going to do that if it gets too hot. It's not like a uh, your computer, most computers, where they shut off at a certain point, or uh, RAM and stuff like that, where it'll uh, go backwards and everything. No. So I plug the fan back in, and with it, with this blowing like it is, it's getting circulation underneath and circulation across the top, and it's cool and when it doesn't get hot unless it's actually working so think about that so if you're if you're going to spend a hundred dollars or however much you're going to spend i think that uh mvme was on sale for like a hundred dollars and um and I'm used to using the little, uh, oh, I can't even think of what they're called, sand disc. But I figured I would give this a shot since it was cheaper than two sand discs. And it works like a charm. So if you want to keep it cool and protect your investment, that's the way to go right there. Okay, I hope this helps someone out, and be sure and hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe. It helps out a lot, and I hope this helps someone, and if you're in a warm place, go swimming. If you're in a cold place, find a warm place to go swimming. If you can't find a warm place to go swimming, snuggle up with someone. Love y'all, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.